you. Enjoy the show. Here we go. You realize Stevens Point is to the south, Wassa to the north, you're all just living in the greater Mosinee metro area. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? Hey, let's get this going here. There we go. So did y'all find good parking tonight? Because Wassa people are all about parking. There's like five parking ramps downtown, but if you can't see the place you're going to go to from your parking spot, Wassa people will walk around or drive around the block for a half hour till something opens up. I was at the Mid Cafe a couple of weeks ago, parked right out in front, went inside, had breakfast, and realized I forgot my wallet. So. I went outside to my car to get it. As I open the car door, a guy slams on his brakes and waits for me to leave. I said, buddy, I'm not leaving. I just had to get my wallet. The guy says, hey, pal, the rule in Wausau is if you touch your car, you get in it and you get out of here. So I did. I think I still owe the mint some money. I don't know. Anyway, I see a lot of friendly faces out there. I peeked behind the curtain before the show started. And I have to admit, I'm a little nervous tonight because I believe I have a couple of pastor friends in the audience tonight. Pastor Lance from Mount Olive Lutheran and Pastor Wild from Christ Community. Great guys. I kind of switched from one church to another back and forth, mainly because they both have the uncanny ability to put smack dab in the middle of their sermons exactly what I was doing the night before. <laughs> to the point of ridiculousness. A while back, I went to visit Mount Olive in the middle of the, of the sermon. Pastor Lance sees me sitting, of course, in the back row. And he breaks off and says, you know, church, the book of Hezekiah tells us Nothing good happens after 8 o'clock at the Pit Stop Bar. The Book of What? So I try my luck down the street in Christ Community the following week. And of course, Pastor Wilde sees me sitting in the back row. And right in the middle of his sermon, he sees me and says, And it is written in second hesitations, when you finish your Saturday night prime rib at Two's Company, go home. <laughs> 2017 was a really good year for the band. We had a few concerts here and there. And a couple of weeks ago, Mitch, Dave, and I played the House of Blues in Chicago. Very cool. Yeah? And this year, we were asked to play a few songs with a guy named Jim Peterick. And you may not be familiar with his name, but you'll know all of his songs. He had hits with the Ides of March, Survivor, 38 Special, many others. And we played a couple of, big, of his biggest hits. One was Vehicle, if you remember this one. Remember that one? I'm your beautiful baby, right? That was pretty cool, but the highlight is when we got to play Eye of the Tiger. Remember that song? Rocky Three, I think it was from. So here we are. And you gotta see this guy, he's got purple hair, he's got big sunglasses, he's got gold chains, bell bottoms, snakeskin boots. And I'm wearing basically what I'm wearing tonight, right? Actually confirmed, I was wearing exactly what I was wearing that night. Anyway, at some point, we have to start off the song, right? And everybody knows I am the Tiger, right? 
And at some point, old Jim is going to give us the one, two, three, four, and we're going to do the bump, 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 right? Bump, bump, bump. So we're waiting. And I'm sitting there waiting. I'm looking at Mitch. Well, what's going on? And he's looking at me going, I don't know. And he's not counting it off. He's not doing anything. I'm staring at the crowd. And all of a sudden, it hits me. Jim Peterick, rock star legend, is waiting for me. That's what's going on here. The rock legend wants me to start it off. I got your back, Jim. Jim Peterick is counting on me. He wasn't. He wasn't at all. But it's okay. We didn't embarrass Central Wisconsin too badly. We got through it. Tonight's show is sponsored in part by the R Store. Now I know that the R used to stand for racer. And I'm only guessing, but now it has taken on the double meaning of our store, right? Oh, you are? But shortening it to our store. Jim Cameron, you realize that R, the letter R, is not an acronym for our, right? Unless you're a 1930s gangster. It was a dark and stormy night. And we were looking for some gas, see? Up in the head, in the distance, we could see a light. It was a store. <laughs> Folks, I have no problems if you laugh out of pity, okay? Now, for those of you that are first timers to the show, you may not be aware, and it was alluded to in the opening, that it is a 20 year tradition of me making fun of the mayor of Wausau. With John Robinson, Linda Lawrence, and Jim Tibble, it worked. Especially Tibble. I mean, are you kidding me? I just spent the whole year trying to dig something up on Mayor Milky, the entire year. And you know what I got? John, he's a nice guy. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? How do you make fun of somebody who's a nice guy? So thanks, Wasa, for ruining it for me. I appreciate that. So I'm officially retiring the lampooning of your mayor. It's done. It just doesn't work. I'm sorry. So instead, I'm going to fill that spot with a little song I wrote that re represents a little simple Christmas joy that warms my heart. And I hope you like it. I want ice cream for Christmas, especially Christmas Eve. I want ice cream for Christmas for you and for me. I'll take mint chip or strawberry or even Rocky Road. I want ice cream for Christmas and my pie alone. John, John, John. Well, look, everybody, it's little Lauren from the neighborhood. Isn't she adorable? Well, what can I do for you, Lauren? Would you like to buy some ice cream? Well, what a coincidence. We were, I was just saying about how much I love ice cream for Christmas. Now, let me ask you, but I need to ask you a few questions first. Is that okay? Oh, okay. Well, first of all, little Lauren, did you pay the $500 seller's permit to the city of Wausau? <laughs> Did you get your ice cream inspected by the Wassa Health Department? No. Well, now here's the third question. It's probably the most important. Did you get a five hundred thousand dollar liability insurance policy naming the city of Wassa as the beneficiary? No. Well, that's too bad, Lauren, because. As reported by the Wasa Pilot and Review and the Daily Herald, you have to have all those things for cute little kids like you to sell ice cream in this city. I'm afraid Mayor Milky doesn't want us to have ice cream for Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. 
put your body next to mine Underneath the mistletoe we go